On this walk, you know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Taking things personally will harden your heart if you're not careful. The spirit of offense will harden your heart if you're not careful. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Man, can you imagine Jesus taking things personally? He had to constantly keep going to the Father like, Lord, help me. He had to cry out as well. There are times where Jesus had to go off to himself and fast so he can continue in the work that God has called him to continue in. Because it does take a lot of, you know, denying yourself. And when people are doing you wrong, speaking against you and rejecting you, um, you have to constantly go to the Father, you know, for strength. You have to constantly sit with him, abide with him so he could pour into you, give you the strength to continue to walk out your assignment. So I encourage you in the name of Jesus, if you're feeling some type of way in your spirit towards your brother or your sister, sit with the father, abide, allow him to pour into you because it will harden your heart. If you take things personally, you have to see in the spirit, walk by faith and not by sight. You have to see what's going on in the spirit. Take it before the Lord because when our hearts are hardened, it's hard for us to receive from the Lord. So humbling ourselves before the Lord and crying out to him for him to help us maintain a heart of flesh is something that we must do often on this journey so we can walk out our assignment, so we can fulfill our assignment. I love you. Whatever your assignment is, God gave it to you for a reason. Yes, it's a weight. It's a weight. So we constantly have to go before the Father and cry out and communicate with the Father what's going on in our spirit so he can help us, so he can pour into us, so he can strengthen us and give us the power to continue. May you get the power from the Lord to continue in the name of Jesus. I speak peace over you. Have a beautiful day.